has opened the door for Sacramento as Halliburton dumps it off. And Mensa will go back to the free throw line after he was found by Harden. Look at Halliburton. He's surveying. It. He's looking to see where. He, I mean, that's a wide open. Lane. He's coming straight at. Rotation is just way too late. And that's just have to be better defensively. I'm going to open this video by letting you guys know this is according to Shams Charania, the most legitimate source in the NBA. This isn't something that I'm scraping the bottom of the barrel for. And on a side note, make sure to drop a like because this is our second upload of the day. I'm so glad that we're doing double upload days again. I don't typically upload unless if there is news to cover. So make sure you subscribe and turn on our notifications to help the channel grow. If you want to see Mike Corzemba get like Coop and I yell at each other in regards to this topic, Make sure you check out the Laced Up podcast. And now that we got all that out of the way, cue the intro. As a professional sports idiot, there's one thing that I am decent at doing, and that's making sports picks. And there's no better platform to do this on than Bounty Sports. When you use my link in the description down below, you'll get a free $5 deposit, which means this 1K multi-sport weekly pick'em that I'm about to enter is technically free for anyone that uses my link in the description down below. So we got the Charlotte Hornets over the Miami Heat. Wizards are going up against the Suns. There's no way the Wizards win this. The Knicks versus the Lakers. Give me my Lakers, bro. Actually, no, my Lakers suck. Go to the Knicks. <laughs> the Milwaukee Bucks versus the Trailblazers. I'm going to take the Bucks here. The Thunder versus the Kings. Let's just say the Kings pull this one out. We got the Brooklyn Nets versus the Denver Nuggets. Give me Denver. We need some upsets. The Detroit Pistons versus the Minnesota Timberwolves. I'm going to take Detroit here. Philadelphia versus Chicago. I actually really like Philadelphia in this instance, and they're counted as an underdog. The Celtics versus the Magic. I'm going to take Boston. We got the Pacers versus versus the Cavs. Oh my God, there's no way the Cavs lose this one. We got the Hawks versus the Dallas Mavericks. Ooh, the battle of the 2018 draft picks that got traded for each other. Give me the Atlanta Hawks. We got the Pelicans versus the Rockets. Uh, I'm gonna go with the Pelicans here. We got the Bucks and the Clippers. Let's just assume that the Bucks are exhausted after their back-to-back -back and go with the Los Angeles Clippers. And I'm gonna go with Sean Strickland. So that's 20.08 points. We're gonna enroll in this contest. It's only $4 to enroll. So when you use my link in the description down below, this is a free contest that you could enroll in because they give you a free $5 deposit. And thank you, Bounty Sports. For the sponsorship. Mike check one, two, one, two. What's going on, everybody? I think I've made about 20 Ben Simmons videos up until this point. And in each of those videos, it kind of led up to the inevitability yes. that at some point or another, Ben Simmons is going to be traded. Now, this is where things get a little sketchy. About two weeks ago, I made a video that suggested that James Harden is open to testing free agency and is open to a change of scenery. Now, when I first read this report, I believe the source was Jake Fisher and I initially thought it was extremely sketchy. After all, why would James Harden wanna leave the Brooklyn Nets? This is the best team he has easily been on for the entirety of his career. You have Steve Nash as your head coach, Kyrie Irving part-time as your teammate, Kevin Durant as your other teammate, Patty Mills is there, Paul Millsap is a shell of his former self, so we're not gonna really mention that, Blake Griffin is as well. You got Joe Harris. You got a bunch of players that could contribute to your success here. And as time went on, there were sketchier and sketchier reports that pertain to this topic, such as this athletic article by Shams Sharanya and Sam Amick that said a Ben Simmons and James Harden trade is a hope worth waiting for. The Sixers would prefer this trade in the summer, with the primary points of this article being that unless Philadelphia is blown away at the trade deadline by a team that significantly improves its current best offer, in other words, there is still a standstill between Ben Simmons and the Philadelphia 76ers that will continue past the trade deadline. There's belief that the offers currently available would be there in the offseason as well, but what may not be if a Simmons deal is completed now is a shot at a star like James Harden, which we have more to get to, but I mentioned Daryl Morey is also holding out hope for a James Harden reunion, which it should surprise no one because they saw them thrive together during their eight seasons together in Houston. 
And Daryl Morey has gone on record multiple times saying James Harden is the best offensive player in NBA history, better than Michael Jordan. Things got a little quiet, and then right after a big trade happened earlier today with the Clippers trading for Robert Covington and Norman Powell, a few hours later, we got a bombshell of a report from none other than Shams Charania once again. Now, the tweet said, sources, the Philadelphia 76ers are expected to pursue Brooklyn's James Harden ahead of the NBA trade deadline on Thursday, and the Nets are now open to discussing a deal. Now, this absolutely sent shockwaves throughout the entire landscape of the NBA. They have until Thursday to get this deal done. The article opens up by saying that the 76ers president of basketball operations, Daryl Morey, had been plotting to wait for the offseason to chase James Harden as a free agent and save Ben Simmons for a potential deal. But they may not have to wait that long after all. With the NBA trade deadline just days away on February 10th, the 76ers are expected to pursue Harden in the coming days, and the Brooklyn Nets are believed to be open to discussing a deal. Sources with knowledge of the situation tell The Athletic. Now, before we jump into this, let me know, is this a trade you'd be interested in? Would you like to see Ben Simmons on the Brooklyn Nets? Would you like to see James Harden on the 76ers? If you're a fan of either of these teams, I wanna get your take in the comment section down below. But continuing on, says that there's expectation that both the 76ers and Nets will engage in a dialogue on a deal around Ben Simmons for James Harden, multiple sources say. With Philadelphia holding a chest of role players in Seth Curry, Tyrese Maxey, and Matisse Thibel, that could sweeten a potential package. Still, there's no urgency from Nets officials who have had the steadfast belief that the current core, as is, has the means necessary for a championship. However, it's believed that an opening exists should an offer elevate the team and make the roster more well rounded as the franchise pursues a championship. So the very first thing that you might be thinking is, Mike, why on earth would the Brooklyn Nets trade James Harden for Ben Simmons? Well, the answer is it's clear that Ben Simmons is nowhere near the caliber of player that James Harden is. However, there are things that Ben Simmons has going for him that James Harden does not. For example, Ben Simmons is a tremendous defensive player. Ben Simmons is also significantly younger than James Harden. So if Kyrie Irving decides to leave in free agency, or if Kevin Durant wants to switch teams in free agency, then you have someone that you could build around because Ben Simmons is locked in on his contract for the next four years which is a remarkable backup plan if you need to get into a rebuild. On top of that, if you were to trade James Harden for Ben Simmons, you'd be trading James Harden past his prime years, let's be honest. He's still a remarkable player, but he's 32 years old, and who knows how much gas is left in the tank. He's definitely not the version of himself that he was in Houston, but he could definitely be part of a championship roster. And in addition to that, for trading the 32-year-old James Harden for the significantly younger Ben Simmons, you also could ask for additional assets on top of that. Now, I don't see the Philadelphia 76ers giving up Seth Curry, Tyrese Maxey, and Matisse Thibel to go with Ben Simmons just for James Harden. But if there's any team that could potentially swindle Daryl Morey and the Philadelphia 76ers, it would be the Brooklyn Nets. Daryl Morey has a huge soft spot for James Harden. So he's more likely to take a lesser deal if he could get the Nets to give him James Harden. Now this athletic article provides supporting reasons as to why this would go down, stating that along with the potential of improving the roster depth, the Nets appear in need of a change in what is a critical year in Kevin Durant's prime. With a player option looming for Kyrie Irving in the offseason and with the organization's championship expectations, when the Nets acquired Harden in a blockbuster trade in January 2021, the big three he formed with Durant and Irving promised to be indestructible, arguably the most lethal offensive combination ever assembled. It continues to say that in the 16 games that all three have played together, Brooklyn is 13 and 13. Their availability together has been a major concern and perhaps could be a tremendous what if factor in the grand scheme, which is something that I remember saying a lot last year, that especially leading into playoff time, that James Harden, Kyrie Irving, and Kevin Durant didn't have many games together, and how is that going to translate to playoff success? 
Ultimately, James Harden was injured in the beginning of the playoffs, and then Kyrie Irving got injured in the middle of the playoffs, and he was out for the rest of the playoffs. James Harden wasn't nearly as effective because he was playing on a hurt hamstring, which it appears to still be hampering him to this day. Shams and Sam continue to say something that is pretty significant at this point. There are issues that are more important than the availability of James Harden to play. And that's the fact that there are growing concerns over Harden's playing style, which is one of dominant ball handling and his own pace from his MVP and all NBA days in Houston. That contrasts with the free flowing, organic approach from his two co-stars. Nets coach Steve Nash has met with the team stars over finding the balance and most beneficial styles. And although there have been bright spots too often, the team has reverted to a more dry offense at the end of games, especially against the league's elite teams. In addition, the Nets game plans tend to shift depending on when Harden is on and off the floor, meaning a different play style at specific points. This has been a point of contention from the coaching staff and players, sources said. Now, I'm really happy that Sham says this next part because he says the expected openness to engage does not mean a deal will come to fruition. The Nets would surely want a significant haul from the 76ers, but it does open the door to the possibility of a major blockbuster deal to occur on deadline week, which means Maury and the 76ers are primed to have their shot at James Harden in season, which is a potential deal that they thought was available for the summer only. This is pretty significant because it closes the Ben Simmons saga if this trade happens, but in addition to that, you save a year of Joel Embiid's prime. Bear in mind that the 76ers currently are good as is, but if they get James Harden, it could potentially put them over the top. Now, the age-old question in this situation is one that I always ask myself when a contender potentially could acquire another all-NBA talent, and it's a question that we posed last year with the Brooklyn Nets as well. Is it worth giving up all of your depth in order to get one more star player? in order to become top heavy, you have to think about that because so far the Brooklyn Nets are struggling a little bit this year. The Los Angeles Lakers are struggling this year. Now the Los Angeles Lakers are a different situation because I don't think their big three works together at all. But in the Philadelphia 76ers case, do you really think James Harden is necessary? And my answer to that question is, at this point, I would say so, yes, because you don't have one of your max contract players playing games currently. And although you've been successful so far, you're pretty much playing at a slight handicap. Tyrese Maxey is a remarkable asset. Matisse Thibel is gonna prove invaluable come playoff time. And I can imagine why the Brooklyn Nets would be interested in this trade as well. Because if you could get a bunch of role players that could boost the depth of the Brooklyn Nets and just play through Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving, I think you'll be okay. Which is what I said initially when the Brooklyn Nets were considering trading for James Harden. It wasn't necessary. I would have preferred to keep Karis LeVert and Jarrett Allen personally, especially seeing what's become of Jarrett Allen. Now, it's also important to note that the Minnesota Timberwolves are also really interested in this deal, but are unwilling to meet Philadelphia's high threshold for draft picks. Minnesota has indicated an openness to discussing a package that includes Simmons and Tobias Harris, sources said, but that offer would not come with draft capital from the Timberwolves, and the 76ers do not view both players as part of a salary dump trade. The goal of in perspective is why there hasn't been much traction so far. At 27 to 25, the Timberwolves are firmly in the postseason picture in the Western Conference, and they've had positive play from Carl Anthony Towns, Anthony Edwards, and D'Angelo Russell. So this is something that we have to keep our eyes on, man, because this week is going to be absolutely pivotal for the landscape of the NBA. Let me know in the comment section down below what do you think is going to happen and what should happen. Aside from that, I'm your boy Mike, and I'm dropping our mic until our next upload.